Okay, so as you are aware anyway, this week is assessment week and now assessment week's really important, particularly at this stage anyway, because we've been away from school for so long and we need to sort of assess and sort of track where the gaps are uh, within your learning. Now I've put, the, I've split the assessments up into days for the rest of this week, starting with the 16th um, through to the 18th on Friday. Now, on the 16th, I would like to have a go at the arithmetic paper and maths test one. I've put the timings under there. Try and stick to the timings. Um, push yourself to last that 25 minutes. And when the 25 minutes is up, you know, close, finish what you're doing and, and sort of put the paper down regardless of where you're up to. Because I would like to see how much we can get done in, in that 25 minutes. With maths test one, you have 35 minutes, so 10 minutes more in terms of the maths papers, anybody at home um, can read the question to you. Obviously, they can't give you any help, but they can read the question. Sometimes um, a familiar voice just reading the question sort of prompts something within your brain and helps you out a little bit. So have a go with them on the 16th. On the 17th, I've said have a go at maths test two and the spelling, punctuation and grammar test. Now for the maths test two, you have 35 minutes again. And for the SPAG test, you have another 35 minutes. Again, like the assessments in the previous day, uh, somebody at home can read the question to you just to give you a little bit more of a helping hand. But obviously, we would like them to try and err on the side of caution and step back from giving you any sort of support with that, just so we can see what you can do independently. And then on Friday is the reading test. Now, the reading test, you have one hour and 15 minutes. In that time, you can incorporate a little break into it because I am aware that one hour and 15 minutes is a long time. So I don't mind if you want to have a little five minute break, sort of stretch your legs and stuff. With the reading test, um, your adult at home cannot help you whatsoever. So they can't read anything for you or they can't point anything out. Have a good go at those tests and send them back into me. Now I'm aware, obviously, they are PDF formats, so you can't type it into the test. So what I would suggest, if you can't print the, te print the tests off at home, is maybe get a scrap piece of paper and write the, the numbers of the questions and your answer next to it as you're working through. If you have to do that, allow yourself a little bit of extra time because obviously you'll be flicking from the assessment back to your piece of paper. So I will give you an extra five minutes leeway on that just to help you out a little bit. Good luck with your tests. See you all soon.